Hello and welcome to a brand new preview episode for Black on Black Cinema. I'm your host Jay. I'm here with Micah, hey, Terrence, what's up, and Rob. Hey. Uh, all right, so we are back with another preview episode. This one is for episode 77. The Lady Sings the Blues. Uh, obviously, this is a classic black film uh, starring Diana Ross and Billy Dee Williams being cool as fuck. How old is Diana Ross in this movie? Uh, she is probably <laughs> 375 years old, <laughs> but that's okay because she still looks great. Um, but uh, we will do that movie next week, and let's play a little bit of that trailer. You've changed You're not the angel I once knew They sparkle, they bubble Gonna get you in a whole lot of trouble But don't take too much Mama may have Diana Ross is dazzling in her dramatic film debut as Billie Holiday in Lady Sings the Blues. That's got his Hers is the story of a child becoming a woman. A woman becoming a lady. Who does she think she is? A lady. The hell of a boy. You want my arm to fall off? A lady becoming a legend. You're mean to me. Why must you be mean to me? Diana Ross is Billie Holiday. The lady who sang the blues and lived them. Okay, that was the trailer for Lady Sings the Blues. So I uh, look forward to that next week. I, I'm sure it'll be a really interesting conversation. Have any of you seen it? No. Uh, no. But I, um, I it's, it's, um, it was nominated for a lot of Academy Awards. Rob, did you see it? Nope. Okay. Um, okay, so that'll be cool because that'll be a first time experience for everybody. Um, all right, so our random topic this week is an interesting one. Uh, so there's been a lot of talk about reparations for black people, um, I guess financial reparations for black people, um, lately in the news with the campaign and, uh, and some of the candidates were asked about it and basically said, no, they don't, that's not a plan of theirs. Um, and they didn't think that it would, uh, it could happen. So I thought we would have an interesting conversation because the last time I checked, black people in general were not for reparations. And now it seems like maybe black people are now for reparations or some form of reparations. So I'm interested to have that conversation. Um, Micah, what are your thoughts on it? Do you want a free handout? Uh, <laughs> There's a way to frame a question. Right. I'm like, yes. <laughs> um, give, it, give it to me now. Please. Look, in terms of, look, if you want to give me money, I mean, I'll take it, but there are too many, there are too many, uh, questions when we go when we talk about reparations like i could make an argument that affirmative action is a form of reparations and, i think that's fair and is it enough i mean look uh, i i don't know I, I i honestly don't know uh, i'm not necessarily i it, i can't i haven't traced my lineage back to to um you know, my slave, you know, ancestors. I actually did that this past weekend. Did you? you? did. Yep. They got married the year after, uh, some of my ancestors got married the year after they were emancipated in North and South Carolina. Damn. Yep. They're like, we free. Marry you, girl. 
Do you feel like you need some sort of reparations for like that's the thing? Like no, repar- I wasn't a slave. Oh, I'm not a slave. You owned them. Mm-hmm. Did your did your ancestors no, no, own them? No, I wasn't a slave <laughs> when I was born. <laughs> Yeah, like I, that's a slave so to I'm your like, mind, bro. <laughs> like, like that's the thing, man. Like, I don't, I don't understand what you would offer because what you could offer, you could never, you would never be able to offer what is needed to balance the scales <clears throat> to have everyone be treated equally. You, you can't. It would take extreme, like, economic, socio political change. A revolution, if you will, but, <laughs> but that's not really going cool, to happen. Not be televised, <laughs> <laughs> not that revolution. <laughs> Nip that shit in the bud. Like I, I just don't see. Um, I don't see it happening. And if we all agreed that it would happen, how would it happen? And there's going to be a lot of bitter ass people who aren't going to. Who, who yeah, are, white people. They're going to be pissed. Uh, right. Right. Why the fuck should I mean? I mean, I mean the argument. I'm just playing devil's advocate. Why should Terrence get forty acres and a mule? He wasn't a slave. Yet I'm poor and I'm not getting one. Right. And then where does it end? Like, do the Irish get reparations? Goddamn mule. (laughs) They said a mule, mule. boy. (laughs) Sell that mule on eBay. Whatever you got to do. Probably eat it. Get a nice meal out of it. Maybe mule meat. (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. That is not a thing. It should be, but it's not a thing. It probably is somewhere in the world. Yeah. But yeah, like what do you um like what do you what do you get? And then I don't necessarily I, need it. Right. N- no, not that, what you can offer. Well, let, and okay, and let, and let's go let before yeah, we get into sorry. the deeper conversation cuz I, I you you touched on a uh, interesting point that I want to come back to, which is where does it end? Terrence, what what are your thoughts on it? And then we'll go deeper up. Um I mean, it would be nice, right? But like he said, what what are you gonna give me? Right. What is what does reparations look like in twenty sixteen? Is like, it just a cash handout? Like I mean, you could make our fucking schools better. <laughs> no, seriously, what's your answer? <laughs> like right. What's a real answer? Exactly. You can uh put us in better give us a a little bit of a, um give us something. Our people that are in need. It doesn't have to be money. It was a fair playing field. That's all we want. How? You I don't know. I I, I have that's a I way. have a suggestion I, for I, an idea, but and I'll, I'll like talk about that's it. like that would be our reparations if somehow you were to give black people a fair playing field. And that's all what, of us. And that's what affirmative action is. It's that's an not, attempt at it. It's an attempt that's at a it. Small attempt at it, but that shit. Don't I mean, work. you can't do that on a wide scale. Can not, you? not in this country. Not now. You gotta kill all the white people. Maybe that's reparations. <laughs> <laughs> Death we, to all white we, we get a, <laughs> a Nat Turner like uh turnaround, like wow, okay. That was not the that was not the initiative I was expecting, Bernie Sanders, but okay. Um Rob, your thoughts. Uh, my thoughts are hey, nobody's getting forty acres in a mule, but if they came to me with a two bedroom apartment and a Lincoln Continental, I'll take it. Lincoln Continental. Um, beyond that was the blackest <laughs> fucking answer. Shit, man. God damn. He didn't even say a house. He didn't even say a house. He said a two bedroom apartment and a Lincoln Continental. <laughs> you can see which one was more important to him. That's fucking hilarious. Like, I don't need land. Fucking hood rich, even in even in reparations. <laughs> God damn. Do they make a Lincoln Continental anymore? I don't even know. I don't know, but they gonna make but, one. Oh um, lord. Okay. Go ahead. I'm sorry. But um, if I can't, the thing is, you you come to me with a way to make it actually work. Then we can talk. But like I keep saying to everybody, the logistics are impossible. You cannot make this work. You cannot go around deciding who's getting money and how much and looking at their lineage and find out who was a slave and who was born where, and how much slave blood they got in them because there's several generations removed now. I mean, like, you look at me, you look at you guys, y'all gonna be getting more money than me, but does that really is that really like fair? It, like, it, is it fair? Yeah, it's it, fair. It's, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck, fuck you. you. It it do, it doesn't make any sense to start talking reparations now. If you want to start talking, oh, I don't know, fixing um income equality. Oh, hey, there's a conversation we should have. Oh, hey, that 
that affects black people. Oh, hey, there's a presidential candidate right now fighting for that. Oh, hey, no, think, uh, he people are stupid and want to shit all over him. So well, I mean, turn, Jay. Rob, I just want to <laughs> I just want to say, Rob, that looking at these pictures of these Lincoln Continental <laughs> 2016, they're fucking bad. <laughs> I, I, you know what? Maybe maybe you're right. Yeah. <laughs> maybe you're right. <laughs> I didn't even know they still made them, but that's a solid choice, sir. Nice. Solid choice. Um, <laughs> the worst Lincoln, the worst Lincoln I've ever seen was one where somebody put the word Lincoln across the whole oh, side of it, and I'm like, oh, really, oh, black dude? Should you, <laughs> <laughs> you know some black dude? Did like, that that's shit. like that's like getting your your name tattooed on your back. But you gonna forget it? Like, come on. <laughs> so yeah, for me, I think the I, when you talk about what reparations is, Rob, I think you, I think actually all of us, I think hit it, um, hit the nail on the head, which is. What does reparations look like in 2016, right? Is it if it's a if it's a cash payout? Let's say let's say they give, which is an insane thought. They gave every black person a hundred thousand dollars. One, I one, got, we gonna I, pump that money right back into the economy I in a sh- weekend. I shudder to think. No, it's not. That would not be a good idea at all. I mean, they made that joke in the first barbershop, like. Y'all want reparations? All it is is going to be a bunch of dudes driving around Cadillacs. Like, that's it. <laughs> I bought gonna... this baby straight cash. Yeah, yeah exactly. The, the fucking Dave Chappelle skit. Like, yeah. yeah. Just want to see it. me live in America. Um, but I don't think that makes sense. But I think the affirmative action, I think, is, is a way to do it. But even that, how do you do it on a socioeconomic, sociopolitical level, like you said, right? Like, it would be so impossible for them to do that. And like the only way, and here's my, here's my fantasy of how you would do it, which I, by the way, I don't think that's possible at all. You would have to take every black person in America and you would have to say, look, um, if you, you know, you, you're, you're an American citizen, we're going to take you, we're going to build you a mega city in the middle of wherever, or kick all the white people out of New York or wherever the fuck. You know what? Fuck that. They go out of L.A. L.A. is a really nice place to live, right? You kick all the, you kick everybody out who's not black. You bring all the rest of the black people in there. You set them up in a pal- palatial area. Everywhere is super nice. Top education, food paid for, everything. Everything is taken care of. There's a totally free society. No crime. All of that. You keep black people in that time box for three generations. Where they have kids, everyone's got graduate degrees, they're smart, all this shit. Then you let them out of that time box, and then you put them back into American society. You know, you just described North Korea, right? Yeah, but like not bad, (laughs) right? So you then put them back into the American populace, and then what? You hope that there isn't massive resentment for this group of people being boosted up for three generations and then those people can spread their seed out and then their kids will be successful and all that stuff spoiler alert it wouldn't work so when a when a presidential candidate says yeah i don't think it would work yeah because it wouldn't work it wouldn't work it's not the same as health care it's not the same as these other things that help everybody it's literally impossible and if you say that it is an outlandish idea and we should try it anyway because other people are trying what you think are outlandish ideas that's fine, but I need you to come up with an idea of how to do it. Because I'd like you to explain to me how you would do it. I don't understand how you could. Like, say you were to give black people a hundred thousand dollars a piece, and the way that we would then the way that we would spend it is just ignorantly because we're not educated. Yeah. So you'd burn a hundred thousand right. so everyone would burn a hundred thousand dollars. And then they'd give it right back to you because we don't have the education to learn how to like manage money. Manage it's not, it's not even just, just the lack of education. It's just the, the lack of opportunity to use that money as opposed to yeah, wealth, cool. wealthy families that know to invest money. Like, when you, you go to a, your average black person and say, here, invest this money. They'd be like, I want to invest in some groceries. Yeah, nigga, I'm starving. <laughs> like, I, I don't know how to invest money. If, if I got rich tomorrow, if I won a lottery, I, would, I mean, I would go out of my way to learn, That's but I don't know. Other than buying his network and kicking Jay out, you can't use my talent. Fuck you. <laughs> Give me I'm, money. You got a price. But that, you know. <laughs> you know all right, you're not wrong about that. <laughs> Willing to sell out, just buy in, everybody. Um, but yeah, I, I think that's I think that's a good point, which is we wouldn't even know what to do as a, as I mean, look, and that's not to say like black people are dumb. It, it's not, but we aren't educated in. Like, we, aren't, we aren't given that information. Yeah, we're, we actively go out and seek that shit. Right. 
because and we haven't. We and not only that, when have we ever had to? Like, when's the last time there was a lot of black people making a hundred thousand dollars all of a sudden? It's just not. But like the notion that it is something that we should consider is fine. I I personally think that the way that you do this, and Rob and I talked about this on Look Forward, which is. It's not about boosting up one group. It's about leveling the playing it's field. It's about lowering everyone else. That's right. <laughs> Make a C a 60 instead of a 70. <laughs> and then all the kids pass. But, I mean, in all honesty, it's about le- leveling the playing field. You don't have to drag people back, but you got you to gotta help. You, you have to boost people up to a degree. And you also have to make it so that some people aren't just thrown at the top for no fucking reason. You got to earn your way to the top. If you can, if you can still get into Harvard because your grandfather went to Harvard and you don't know shit, that's a like that's a problem. That's a fucking problem. Where a black kid doesn't get that spot, even though they're intellectually capable of of getting that spot, but you're you're white and your grandfather went there, so you get you get fucking grand literally grandfathered in. You know what I find fucked up that people that go to those those schools. And they're alumni and they make millions and millions of dollars. They put money back into those schools like the schools need it. Why don't you put it into schools that actually need the money? Because fuck them schools. Yeah. Yale all day, every day. <laughs> like, I mean, that, but that's it's fucked up. It is fucked up, but they think that the school and likely it did help them to be the person they are. So that's their payback. I mean, I get it, you know, but at the same time, yeah, you're only making those schools much better right. and all the other schools can need the goddamn money. Yeah. I don't think Yale needs your $50,000 donation. They're going to be okay. <laughs> but, you know, that would require, you know, systemic thinking and like people to actually consider their fellow human beings. I don't know what gives a shit about people. Nope. No, they real they really fucking don't. I don't. Yeah, well, we, we've already established. <laughs> that. Yeah, nigga, yeah, nigga, we know. Yeah, fuck out of here. But yeah, I I do think that, you know I I do see people talk about the reparations thing a lot, and I, I it's, it's interesting how it became a topic of discussion all of a sudden. Do you think it's curious that no one has ever asked the black president about reparations, but they asked the white president, the the a potential person running for president who's white after the black president about reparations? I've never heard of Well, you got to find something to be mad at him about, right? There you go. Hey, what were you going to say, Terrence? Yeah, I've never heard a single person ask Barack Obama about reparations. Right. You know what he would say? Uh, no. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, we could, uh, we, could, uh, 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 we could try it, but uh, I don't. Uh, Even if he said you could try it, like, that's going to start. Fox News. War. Fox News would be like, Kill every, yeah, <laughs> kill every black person you see before they take your check. Right. Yeah. Right. I'm yeah. telling you, reparations is going to lead to the race war. It would. Like, it, it, it just It is. wouldn't, it just, financially, <laughs> sociopolitically, it wouldn't work. It's impossible. So what you have to do is you try to get, with every generation of black folks, Latino folks, Native Americans, you try to do better by them in even the fucking playing field so that their kids have an equal footing to start with white kids. That's, that is the best way to do it. It's the only way to do it. Black people haters can't even... <laughs> I need to stop using that term. <laughs> black people haters can't even... They can't even fathom... Like They can't fathom a black quarterback enjoying what he's doing and being dominant in it because it's not the norm. Like, right. like, and, and that guy, I'm assuming, had to work to get where he's at. Yeah. Can he you get, um, He didn't get reparations. Is he, be, is he married, Cam Newton? It's, yeah. Oh, I don't know that much about it. I, yeah. I know he's I black. I hope he's not, and I hope he's back. fucking all the white women. <laughs> 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 you know what? I hope he drives a fucking Lincoln Continental out of the fucking Super Bowl. <laughs> packed to, packed to the brim with blonde white women. See y'all? Yeah. <laughs> like, Oh, They're just dab- dabbing on the way out. <laughs> like, don't do that while driving. It's dangerous. Like, please. But, I mean, yeah, they can't even handle that. You think they're going to handle literally giving black people right. money? They, right. think they, no. they, they get pissed off about the Obama phones when that was around since, like, Nixon. Right. And they think that black people are getting free cell phones. They don't even know. They don't know or care about that. And then where does it end? Like Native Americans, they were kind of given reparations when they were given land to build casinos. 
Yeah, I mean that's literally that, that their is, reparation. That is their reparation. Yeah, they got I, a bunch of guess shitty. What I couldn't trace. Oh, <laughs> yeah, you ain't finding that one, dog. And look, even if you could, and you're like, um, you know, half Chickasaw or whatever. They'd be like, no, the fuck you aren't. You're not building a casino. Get out of my face. You're like, uh, I'm half Atlanta Braves. Can I? <laughs> can I build a casino here? Yeah. Here for I, I moved here from uh, from Cleveland, from Cleveland <laughs> to Florida Seminole. Um, yeah, but yeah, where does it end? The Irish are treated like shit, right, right. now. Arguably, nobody is saying the Irish are treated as bad as slaves. Just everybody calm right. down. Everybody oh, calm down. Yeah, don't everybody... say nobody's saying that because yeah, I'm, okay, that probably is some people saying. That, but but uh, we want to nip that argument in the bud yeah. of the whole. Well, my family's Irish, and we were this, that, and the other. Like, yeah, uh, that's you all. Go back far enough, life. everybody was slaves. We, we understand you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look, I know you're lucky charms. Anyway, nobody gives a shit. <laughs> right. Um, you, you people are like the X Men, and we're like the Morlocks. We can't hide <laughs> our mutation. Well, I mean, like some. I mean, like Andy would be Beast. Like he's in the X Men, but he's also like you can't hide that mutation. Either. Yeah, he's big and hairy. <laughs> You know what I mean? Red. Whereas, whereas Rob is more like Mystique, where you know <laughs> he can like, like in the winter time, he that's him morphing into them. But in the summertime, he's blue. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm not even gonna argue because <laughs> <laughs> you know it to be true. That's <laughs> fucking hilarious. But yeah, so I look to to end it there. I I just I I need people to do one thing, and I think it's something we encourage all the time: is think before you speak. If you are so upset about people saying they're not going to do reparations, I would charge that you need to you need to tell me or tell anybody, do you actually believe in this or are you just arguing a point to argue a point? And if you do believe in reparations, which I think is totally fine, I'm going to need you to explain to me how you think it's going to actually work. Like a real plan, not not the put black people in a dome for fucking three generations plan I gave you, which is ludicrous. But I got a plan. I got a perfect plan. You get how much money are we talking to each person? Like a hundred thousand? Yeah, I'll say a hundred thousand. You do a hundred thousand straight cash, hundred and hundred dollar bills. Hundred dollar bills. <laughs> Niggas will go through that in a weekend. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We you, take, there. you take all those hundred dollar bills and put them in paper bags and you blonde everybody up. If you're darker than the paper bag, you get to take it with you. That's not a bad deal. Uh, that doesn't sound too good I for mean, you, I buddy. I feel like you're out of luck, bro. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you, you better hope that contest is in fucking August. Yes. I was going to say, <laughs> not I December. Be t- I'll be tanning my ass off before <laughs> I go pick up my paper bag. Right. <laughs> Donald <laughs> Trump is like, I'll be right back. Right. <laughs> well, that, that, does that mean Rachel Dolezal gets a, gets a bag? <laughs> she gets two bags. <laughs> she clever as shit. <laughs> She's like, what happened? Oh, I'm back. Oh, so, uh, yeah, I just want to end it there. But I, I think if you are for reparations, it's a conversation that is worth having. I don't think it's an insane conversation. But how do you do it? It's one thing to say you're for, but how would you do it? And I think that's important. Yeah, let it, me know. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested. I'll be on board. Right. Because, look, if, it, if, you're, if you're saying that it is through economic equality, then I would laugh and say, well, it's kind of funny because there was a guy who said – that and then said no i'm not for reparations and people ripped his fucking head off over it unreasonably i would argue such a bernie bro i am a bernie bro i'm a bernie stan all day because i read that's the difference (laughs) i read so um yeah don't you have like a picture or something you want to show me (laughs) um anyway so that's it for uh for us but i i do think it's an interesting conversation so if you do support reparations uh, comment to this on our Facebook page because I, I would actually legitimately be interested to hear people's idea. Question of the week. Are you for reparations <laughs> or not? I don't know. God damn. Yeah, so <laughs> there it is. All right. So we'll see you guys next week for episode 77, uh, Lady Sings the Blues. See you. Take it easy. Adios. Bye. We out. We out. We out. We out.